fucking, I had a bad day in New York. New York will beat the shit out of you. Yeah. And I just had a day where everything was going wrong and I was mad at the city and it was just crazy busy everywhere. And I was walking down the street with my kid and Emily and this fucking homeless guy goes, got any money? Or I go, no. And he goes, you got a cigarette? And I go, no. And he goes, you want HIV? And I was like, all right, that's it. I'm, I turned around and I was like, <laughs> Whoa. what? What, are you going to have sex with me or what? And I started to get into a tete-a-tete a -tete with the guy. And then he was like threatening to stab me or whatever. And I thought, like, I was just in such a bad mood. I was like, maybe I will just beat the shit out of this guy if he attacks me instead well, of running he, away. He might have a knife. But oh yeah, he did have a knife. And then I thought, what if he does have HIV? He has a knife. That's the more immediate concern. Yeah. Oh, well, I could take the knife from dying. him. I wasn't super worried about that. He didn't look very tough. Although he did look like he didn't have a lot to lose. I decided not to. I was reminded of a guy we knew who used to work at a correctional facility who uh, he got spit on in the eye by an uh, uh, inmate who had HIV. They, uh, they have a, a special needle they can give you, yeah, an injection that, that will eradicate HIV, but it has to go into the marrow of your leg bone. And it has to go on both legs. And I thought, I don't want to get those injections, so I'm going to do it. That, <laughs> that's why. But you don't want injections. Yeah. The guy had a knife. I keep saying that's the more immediate concern. I guess. Do you remember when it was right after I moved here, the three of us went out for drinks. And some mm. guy, <laughs> he, he literally just walked up. It was like we were behind a fence anyway, because we were in like a bar patio. We were, yeah, on the patio. And he just signaled you out. He's like, you are everything that's wrong with Austin. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I was just like, I, I, was like, oh, not, nice. I didn't necessarily disagree with the guy. <laughs> Remember we had that uh, showing at the draft house where some guy tried to fight me when we were like walking down 4th Street? I do remember that. It was so weird. I do remember that. Like seemingly out of nowhere. Just do you remember that run we had when we worked downtown when you kept seeing all the homeless boobs? <laughs> it's true. But never like the same two boobs nope. and the same person. Nope. I saw, I, like, I saw a, a buffet of boobs. A, t a time. It was like <laughs> a, a two week period. Time. I just remember you one day going, I just want to go to lunch. I just want one day where I can walk to lunch and back without seeing homeless people naked. <laughs> you were so defeated. Yeah, I, I, don't, I, I don't miss working downtown. Hey everyone, thanks for watching this episode of Teeth Animated Adventures. Uh, as always, if you enjoy these kinds of videos, make sure you subscribe to the channel and you've clicked the bell. That we get notified anytime we have new videos. And uh, stick around, who knows, maybe we'll have part two of uh, Jeff having a bad day and looking for someone to take it out on.